Well, here in our area tonight, a raucous meeting in Bellevue. Residents fired up, saying they were blindsided when the borough council voted to decertify the volunteer fire department a week ago. Now, city of Pittsburgh firefighters will be responding to calls there. Jennifer Barrasso is live with the fallout and why one council member voted against the move. Jen. Yeah, that was a dramatic moment. Can Councilperson Sabrina Miller blasting her own board, calling it a coup? Resident after resident demanding that they reverse this decision, calling it a huge mistake. Droves of firefighters showed up before a heated meeting in Bellevue tonight. Residents expressed frustration and disappointment. I'm struggling to understand how the town is somehow more safe and less expensive to operate without the excellent services of the volunteers. Many say they were blindsided and received no warning before Borough Council voted last week to decertify Columbia Hose Hook and Ladder Company, better known as Bellevue Volunteer Fire Company. The way you have treated these firemen, you should be ashamed. I'm sorry, every one of you are amazing. The Borough Fire Department, the volunteers, and the citizens of this borough should file a class action suit and get you all out of office. Now, the borough is left with at least two paid firefighters and one engine to respond to emergencies. And fire calls will be answered by Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire at no cost to the borough. Many residents feel this is a slap in the face, not giving the public a say. To make that type of decision and not get the public's input, I seriously got a question your ability to govern and protect the citizens of this borough. I have a problem with how long the mayor knew and the council that you knew about this situation and never said anything. Nothing until all of a sudden, boom, the last meeting. Councilperson Sabrina Miller, who voted against the decertification, blasted the board for how this was handled. The residents had every right to have some type of public engagement piece. You, you yes. pulled a stunt. You pulled a stunt because this is something that you had in the works for quite some time. You could have handled this in a better way. The council presented a report from studies they had done, noting the volunteer company does not have the staffing capacity to provide adequate services. Former fire chief Glenn Pritchard. This is dirty. He's a Bellevue resident. I don't approve it anyhow. That stuff went down. My biggest concern being here to speak for everybody is my intricate knowledge of the operations and the danger you're leaving people in. And I tried to get other reaction from other council members. They didn't want to talk. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.